Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and it's time for episode number 61 of our Pokemon White version playthrough here on the channel. <gasps> Should've taken a deeper breath. We're here on route. It probably just showed. 17, 18, I don't know, whatever Android we're talking about here. We're here doing some exploration of the Unova region, looking for some kind of last minute items and such before taking on the Elite Four. So to that end, we're here trying to uh, navigate these super rushing waters. And who do we have with us? Well, I'm glad you asked. Did you ask? Let me know in the comments below. First up, leading the way, we've got our level 47 Duat Seaward, our starting Pokemon here in the Unova region. He has the Mystic Water held item. The nature is Rash, and he's got Torrent Ability. We have Water Pulse, Surf Cut, and Aqua Jet for the current moveset. We'll be changing that before taking on the Elite, of course. We have Wit Wiki, our Chandelure, up next at level 47 with the Spell Tag item, boosting Ghost Attacks. The nature is Impish. We've got Flash Fire for his ability, and we've got Shadow Ball, Flame Burst, Nightshade, and Will O Wisp. Next up, we got our Cantonian Marowak at level 48. He is a serious nature Pokemon. Doesn't yet have the Thick Club, and I did see a comment in the last video. We'll talk about that in a little bit here. But he has Lightning Rod ability. We have Bone Meringue, Thunder Punch, Rock Tomb, and Strength. Next up is our other serious nature Pokemon, Grub the Levani at level 49. He has the ability Chlorophyll, and we've got Bug Bite, Non-Critical Leaf Blade, Helping Hand, and Protect. And last but not least, our last final active member on the team, we have Medusa, our Sinonian Onyx at level 49. She's got the EV Light to boost up the defenses quite nicely. The nature is Hardy. Now, what would that defense go up to? Uh, that would be 8 and another 7, so about 87 more on top of that. That would be 262 if I'm doing the math right. That's physical. Special defense, we're looking at not as much. Anyway, Rockhead is the ability. We've got Earthquake, Smackdown, Sandstorm, and Rock Polish for the moves. And I had a chirp. Hey, chirp. How's it going? He's our little uh, aerial taxi cab. All right, so where do we leave off? I think I dealt with this guy up here. We've got to find a way to go down and talk to that girl. It's going to go past these rapids here, it looks like. Okay, let's be careful. We're going to get attacked. I know it. So far, so good. All right, we're making our way downtown, walking past, moving fast, and let's fight this trainer. I was taking a little break, but hey, I always have time for Pokemon battles. Let's enjoy it as much as possible. So while we're here on Route 1718, just off of Route 1, doing our surfing exploration, I've been finding some items that are evolution items for previous Pokemon. We found the dubious disc on one of the little islands out here. We also found, uh, what was it, Deep Sea Tooth, I think it was. And was there something else we found out here? There might have been a third item. But either way, these are all items that are related to previous species Pokemon, which we cannot get in this game yet, at least. And which have no effect on the Gen 5 Unovan Pokemon. Oh, you've got Water Absorb. That's going to make this a little bit more trickery. But we've got plenty of Pokemon to choose from. Well... Not exactly, of course. We have a few that are weak to water, but I know one that's actually... I forgot water's one of our big weaknesses. But we have Grub, just in case of such occasions, to deal with this thing. <coughs> Excuse me. You better not have Sap Sipper as your second ability. Could you imagine if Pokemon could have secondary abilities? What do you think that would be like? Hmm. What would be a good secondary ability for some Pokemon? Well, Gengar could have Levitate and Cursed Body. That's an idea. I don't know. Maybe they could have both natural abilities at the same time. Is that overpowered? Probably. I'll tell you why I was taking a break. I have trouble with my bikini. It could be washed away. Interesting. Anyway, talking about previous items for Pokemon, I've been mentioning the Thick Club recently. I've been wanting to get one for Marowak to boost up that physical attack. Sailor Pika left a comment on, I think it was the last episode, mentioning that there is a way to get a Thick Club in this game, but it's actually not until post-game, essentially. Route 13 is the place to find that. And if you're following on the map, if you've seen when I checked out the map recently, Route 13, I'm pretty sure, is beyond our areas that we can get to before ending the main story. It is past one of those bridges that we can't go all the way across yet, so... Looks like we're not going to get a Thick Club from Marowak, unfortunately. And why would they tease us with these evolution items over here? And not give us Marowak's Thick Club? I don't know. But I do want to check something else out once we're done with the exploration over here. There's something in Nimbasa City which could be kind of handy. But first of all, let's beat her up. Don't you ignore me. There we go. I'm seeing you. Fights have their own rhythms. I wonder whose Pokemon can fight rhythmically. So, 
Let's talk about breeding. That sounds awkward. Let's talk about Pokemon breeding. That sounds less awkward. So this day, this night, this evening, I'm recording this on Sunday just to let you know exactly what time does it matter. Probably not really, but it is Sunday evening. I did some Pokemon going to try to take care of some of my research tasks. I have trashed the garbage task of make three excellent throws in a row because let me tell you, when the game Pokemon Go does not record or register your excellent throws correctly, that kind of a task is a massive waste of time, a massive waste of space, and a massive source of needless frustration. I was getting pretty ticked off with the game in the past little while, because I'm telling you, circle gets small, and I know the ball lands right in the circle, nothing. Or it says, great throw. That's one thing. Another thing is the ball decides to go just aside from the circle, and I've seen it happen. It's going in nice and curved, and suddenly, whoop, it moves. I don't know what that's about. And also interrupting your three excellent throw streak. Another thing is, I don't know how many times I had two excellent throws in a row. I'm going for that third one. Last split second before the ball hits the Pokemon attacks, or dodges. In fact, I even got to the point where I realized, you know, Nana Berries have a better use than being thrown out. You can use them to calm Pokemon down. I started using them didn't really help. The Pokemon continued to attack last second. So I thought, you know what? This task is not worth it. I know you can get a Larvitar for completing that task. At least I think Larvitar is the reward for three excellent throws in a row. I've got plenty of Larvitar. I don't need to build frustration trying to accomplish that glitchy, erroneous task. I don't even care if in a, in a future update, they give us, make three excellent throws in a row, and the reward is a 100% IV shiny Arceus. I'm trashing that task. I don't want it. So anyway, rant over. What else was I talking about? Oh, just doing my Pokemon Go stuff during the day. I'm living with so many rhythms. My rhythm, the Pokemon's rhythm, and nature's rhythm. And I realized, you know what? I got my spin for the day. I got my catch for the day. I did one of my battles for the day. My I used yesterday's free raid pass. Got that taken care of. Garbage TM. Actually, no, it has some uses. It's an, not the most powerful TM I could think of, but I'll take it. It's free TM. And anyway, so I got all my stuff done daily in the game, and I was, you know what? I might as well call it a day. We got some other things to take care of back at the old laboratory, or my home, to get ready for our Pokemon content on the channel. Ooh, double battle. <coughs> Excuse me, double scraggies. Not even worth the experience points because of the level, so we're just going to say bye bye and I got home and pretty much, I wouldn't say the entire day, but the majority of the entire day has been spent breeding Pokemon. That's right, I'm getting the Pokemon ready for... What's in here? What's in here? Anything? Nothing? Okay, fine. Getting the Pokemon ready for our long-awaited return to Wi-Fi battling on the channel. I really have to start focusing from now on whenever I have a prize Pokemon bred up for a prize giveaway. <coughs> excuse, <coughs> excuse me, I gotta prepare not to choke, but also Try to have a box or two of really good stat Pokemon of that species prepared in advance. That way I don't have to scramble like crazy getting all these uh, things bred up. Right now I only have two other species to breed up a full decent box worth of uh, Pokemon of. What I do now, I breed a full four boxes of Pokemon. And then I'll start picking and choosing which ones have the best stats, the best ability, and all that kind of stuff. To fill a single box of the best prize Pokemon. And then, anything in addition to that that have the good stats, the ability, I will put into a secondary box, I'm calling it prize extras, so that after we do our Wi-Fi battles and the winners get to choose which prizes they take, I can then replenish the box with the other previously bred Pokemon, have them ready to go for our wife or uh, the uh, Wonder Trade sessions. All that behind the scenes stuff said, I've got two more species to breed up for our Wi-Fi battles. We got a heart scale. Interesting. I can use that to reteach some moves. I think that's all we're going to find here. And I think this means we've checked out everything in this area. So you know what we're going to do? It's time to fly high. Let's head off to... Where's the next place we should explore? I think we checked out pretty much everything. Is there stuff on Route 2 that we can strength? I think we might have done that. I seem to think that we did when we were looking for uh, Thunderous. So is there any cave here on Route 3? Actually, I do believe there is. But before we do any of that, I'm going to head to uh, Nimbasa City. I just want to check something that came to mind. Might be kind of useful. 
don't know how much use I'm going to make of it, depending on certain situations and stuff, but we're going to go somewhere we haven't even been before. It's called the Battle Subway. Now, generally, when you have a battle tower type thing, I won, then I lost. Gear Station has trains where you can battle other trainers. They, the Battle Subway. You're a trainer, aren't you? Please just accept this without a word. We got a versus recorder. <laughs> I didn't even know what that was. I just took it. If you have a versus recorder, you can record battles with friends or on the Battle Subway. Anyway, this woman of mystery will go somewhere. That's right. She'll go to the Battle Institute. Where? Wait. There is a thing in here called the Battle Institute. Interesting. Basically... What I'm doing here, I'm going to pop down into the Battle Subway, and can you redeem for items here? I can't recall. I should check what these signs say. You know what? Let's do it right now. Under construction. Well, what are you? These look like Monopoly title deeds. Platform for Wi-Fi trains. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. You can take the Battle Subway from Gear Station. Why would I want that? Platform for multi-trains, yada yada. Hi, hi. Please tell me how you introduce yourself before a battle and how you feel when you win or lose. Nope. I don't have time for that. I just want to see, can I get items here? Platform for super multi-trains. I ain't prepared for that. Stop walking away. The Battle Subway. As the name suggests, it's the subway where trainers wage battles. Trains to Anvil Town. We haven't been there. You check that out. What is this pink one? Super double trains. This is probably going to be double trains. Yep. I'm a genius. Super single trains. Gee, what would that leave this one? Battle Subway has seven lines in total, but I heard that the only lines you can take at the beginning are the single, double, or multi trains. Yay. And single trains. All right, so that leads us back out. I'm curious about Anvil Town. What is Anvil Town? Oh, wait, what is this? Hang on. This is the platform for the train to Anvil Town. Oh, wait, okay, I get it. So if I go to one of the other stations, I can probably talk to someone there that gives items for BP. If I'm remembering correctly, Mr. Standard PC. Okay. Oh, what's this? So we map with the Unova region. This is kind of cool. I like this. So, Anvil Town, I'm on the brown track. Looks like it has two exits up there. What's that dark red one go to? But what's really weird, though, is even though these subways go somewhere, you end up back here anyway. So does that make sense? Look at that green one, the dark green one in the middle. Why does it just do a loopy loop? Who would who would take that train? Would you like to board the train to Anvil Town? Ah, might as well. Let's see what's going on over in this weird place. Could be some items. <coughs> Could choke a bit. Let's see. I'll talk to you later. You're probably going to send me right back. Trash can is empty. It's so lively on weekends. Oh, me. I came here to watch the trains. Trash can is empty. There's probably just another map of the subways. What's going on here? What delicious air. Om, nom, nom, nom. Just eat it up with a fork. A beautiful tune is spreading throughout the town. Sweet. Trains are so cool. My mom brought me it. Now she's taking pictures somewhere. She abandoned you. Weird. You can trade lots of items. I was. It was surprisingly fun when I tried. Trade items? What? What is this? Oh, are you also curious about that train? Sure. Alrighty, let me explain. Explain the train, my good main. The super single train is it? I gotta read quicker. It's an environmentally friendly train because they revise all the parts to drastically reduce power consumption. <gasps> Newer trains have to be built in a way that's both functional and environmentally friendly or else all the environmentalists get all up in your grill about it. Compared to the past, they've improved significantly. Nice. Ah, I'm in trouble. I was so engrossed on my trip that I ran out of escape ropes. Let me see, will you trade your two escape ropes for my one revive? I don't really need either, but I will be generous, yeah. I'm not using them, go ahead. If you need help, oh, sorry. I guess I can't be your savior today, if you're... Why do people love trains? Maybe it's the design, the way they can run so fast and still be so comfortable. All the essential parts work together. It's simple, but so beautiful. It must just be their, uh, <clears throat> train of thought. I am a star piece collector. You, over there, let's have a business-like exchange. Will you trade your one star piece for my one PP up? Yep. Don't have any star pieces. Okay. 
If there are a lot of people, I feel that the trains are happy. I mean, look at Thomas the Tank Engine. He's always smiling. Even if it's kind of creepy. With that face, I bet you have something I want. Will you trade your 20 Pokeballs for my one full restore? Yeah? I'll take a full restore. I mean, that's kind of maybe a hefty price. 20 Pokeballs, but... I've already caught everything I can catch in this region anyway, so unless... No, we gotta catch Zekrom. Anyway, oh la la, this luster. I really like Pokeballs. An experienced person like me can tell the difference of the luster of each one. Are you sure? Because I buffed them all up to different degrees. The girl on the bridge. She's playing a lullaby for all the sleeping trains of this town. She... Has got some time on her hands. Anvil Town rolling out the steel rails. I don't... I know I've been here in my original playthrough. I just don't remember much about this place. I wanted to get a picture from this angle. <gasps> You're the mom! You're the abandoner! Don't forget your kid on your way out. What is up here? There's a lot to check out in this. You know, there's probably hidden items too. They're probably hidden in these leaf slash flower piles. There is! Ultra Ball, sweet! Oh, how do I get down there? I bet you I don't. Because that's where the train tracks are, and that would be dangerous for a little kid like me. I bet there's a uh, hidden item over here. Check this out. Check this out. I, hit, uh, hidden item. No. Check this out. Right here. Hidden item in the tree. Nope. How about this tree? Right there. Nope. Never mind. Okay. Moving on. I didn't go into these houses yet, so let's see what's shaking now over here. Come on. Give me a flamethrower TM, would ya? Oh, with a face like that, I bet you're a Pokemon trainer. I work at a, as a subway agent. Nope. Let's try that all over from the start. I work as a depot agent on the battle subway. Have you tried challenging the battle subway yet? No, but... By the way, folks, if I do attempt it, it is not Nuzlocke. You can't Nuzlocke Battle Tower type stuff. It's a hot spot for those who want some serious battling action. But some people get too wrapped up in their battles, and there's no end to the lost and found items. That's right. Nobody ever came to pick this up, so we'll give it to you. Interesting. All right, we'll take that. No worries, no worries. Just take it. It's better for a trainer to use it than for me to hold on to it. That is a good point. I want to talk about that here because I've often felt the same way. If I have a rare Pokemon card, I keep in my binders because I do get a little bit of a collection going on over time. If it's like a full art or not even just a full art, if it's a Pokemon GX that I don't use and somebody's looking for it, I'm willing to trade it for a card like another Pokemon GX that they have extra of and don't need. Even if the price exchange is not the same, like say if I have like a $10 card, I don't sell the card, so the money value doesn't matter to me, but if they have something that's like, say, a $3 Pokemon GX that I don't have, I don't mind doing a swap, because that Pokemon card is now going to get use by the player, as opposed to sitting in a binder. So, that's an exchange that benefits in one way, you know? So, that's what I think this guy's are talking about. I'm sure the item is happier too, just like the Pokemon GX would be. It builds up your friendship with that card. What if they brought in friendship into the Pokemon TCG? The longer you have a card for, the more friendlier it is for you, and you do, uh, do more extra damage. Do you think that would be a thing? No. They are full of people today, too. Do you also trade items? What are full of I What? Did we speak before? That seemed like he was ending a conversation we were already having that I missed out on. If you come out on the weekends to watch the trains, there will be a lot of people. Maybe it's good I'm recording this on a Sunday night. On the weekends, many Star Piece collectors gather here. It must be easier for them to collect their items because many people who are trading different items come here. I should come back here every weekend then, see what I can get. I don't think we'll get anything useful as far as our, you know, main story goes, like TMs and not whatnot, but you never know. You could get some good stuff. Lots of people ride on trains, right? So the people who drive the trains and the people who maintain them have a big responsibility. Indeed, just like any sort of mass travel, like planes, trains, automobiles, whatever. Anvil Town is famous for its turntable. You saw it from the bridge, right? I did. Didn't really get too much of a good look at it because I was busy getting costed for all my special items, which I don't have, but it's cool. Yeah, we can't get down there. Aw, oh, man. Oh, well, I guess there's not much more to do here for the time being. Let's head on back to Nimbasa City, and then we'll go check out the cave where we first... Was it first? No, we fought Team Plasma before that, but when Charon and I went up against Team Plasma to save a little girl who lost her something Pokemon. I forget. It wasn't Bianca and her uh, Muna, because that happened back in uh, Castellia City. All right, now let's talk to these folks. Hello, welcome to the Exchange Service Corner. Would you like to trade your BP for some items? Maybe we can get some TMs. Oh, is there any good TMs we want? Hang on, Smackdown, Ground, Swagger, Pluck. Pluck is kind of good. Sludge Wave might not be bad. Oh boy, Explosion, that'd be great for a Nuzlocke. 
So we can get some TMs if we get the BP. So we have Mantine Surf isn't a thing here. What do you give us? We get the uh, stat boosters and training boosters and good held items. No thick clubs, though, unfortunately. I was kind of hoping you might have had a thick club available. But if we want to do some battle subway stuff, we could possibly do it and get some cool items. I might put that on the back burner for something to do maybe off camera. I'm not going to sit here and grind through many, many battles of battle subway and force you guys have to for to, force you guys to have to watch it because. You only, I think you only get, at the end of an entire seven cars, maybe you get two points. Something like that. And it's like that. That's a lot of time spent on getting very minimal battle points. Or I think it's like you have to beat everyone in a seven trainer streak to get anything out of it. That's a lot of time to invest. Not going to waste that much time here in the playthrough. Alright, so let's head on back to... It's probably the closest one is Striaton City. The site of our first fun gym times. Back in episode number whatever it was, if you don't know, go check it out. It was an interesting time for sure. Can we check anything else out in the dream yard? I'm going to check that. There might be a strength rock to push. Since we're back here anyway. And then we can... Ah, uh, we might not have time to check out the cave just yet. But we'll see what we can do. Let's hurry over to the dream yard right now. So I said I do have the breeding underway for <coughs> our Wi-Fi sessions. I do also have to do some breeding for our first members only Pokemon giveaway. Oh, come on. I got to push from down below? Where does that come from then? Uh, I guess there is nothing to do here right now. I don't think. I'm just going to ignore for the time being. If I'm missing anything that I can get to right now, let me know in the comments. I can go uh, backtrack and check it out. But, yeah, so I decided on the Pokemon I'm going to give for our first members only reverse GTS thing that we're going to do. And I'm going to start working on breeding them as well. It's going to take a little bit of uh, cross breeding and stuff to get the attacks that we want on them. But I'm up to the challenge. Plus, I want to try to get the best stats that I can as well. It is going to be good because we only have two members on the channel right now. And I think I already said this, but one of their uh, DS or 3DS is not functional right now. So I don't need to breed up that many Pokemon. But I want to try to have them, you know, get the parents as good as possible so that all follow up bred Pokemon from these two species are going to be top notch for possible future giveaways. Let me on here. What do we find? That will come in handy, I mean, when we get to the Elite Four. I was kind of hoping for a TM, to be honest. Whoa, what is all this down here? What is all this? What cave is this? I didn't even read the uh, entry screen. Hello, Rogan Aurora. What do, what, do, what do I get Scald? Where do I get Scald in this? I want Scald. It's such a useful attack. Watch it be in here. I could have gotten it this whole time. Watch this actually be it right here. Or, watch this be a Pokemon that's attacking me right here. Go away, Rog and Rolla. I really should use Repels. Or wait. Do I have the Cleanse Tag? I'm going to do a quick check in my items. Hang on. Go to the bag. We're going to sort the held items here. Uh, I don't think we would have it. It would probably be listed by now already. Nah. So cleanse tag, if you don't know what it does, it makes it less likely for a wild Pokemon to attack you. <laughs> there's the escaper we're gonna give that guy. And oh, there's more. We got some time. I'm going underground a little bit. Let's see what we can find. But <clears throat> excuse me, yeah, having the uh, lead Pokemon hold a cleanse tag, I don't know if it prevents encounters or at least minimizes them. But either way, it would be a lot quicker to get through some places. I think my game is broken. I'm thinking those lines are meant to indicate a dark space. Do we have flash? We don't have flash. Is it an HM? No, wait, we do have flash. Can anyone learn this? Let's take a quick look see. I could teach it to Grub or Wit Wiki, but hang on, let me see. Do we have Will-O-Wisp? 
let's take a quick look. We do have Willowis. Okay, so I can teach Flash to uh, Wiki. I can replace it with uh, Willowis on the way back out. All right, let's do that so we can check out this place down here. I mean, we're pretty much at time, but we're going to prepare to do this anyways. All right, let's pop on back down the old stair ski. And get this flashed up. I hope it takes all the lines off the screen because it looks weird. Well, most of them. Alright, so I think we'll do one encounter here. What's your level looking like? Level 10, okay. Nothing to worry about in here for sure. We're going to end off here and save it up. We'll explore the rest of this area in the next episode. In fact, let's get upstairs where there's no lines. Oh, hello, random dust cloud. All right, we're going to save it up. So that's going to be it for today's episode of Pokemon White. I'm not going to make any promises on when, but hopefully this week coming up, we'll have some live streams for some Wi-Fi battling, possibly some, uh, maybe we'll get Pokemon Conquest finally started up. The game seems to be fine. I just need to make a layout and stuff for it, and with my class starting up Monday through Friday this week, as per usual, it's going to take me a little bit of time to get things ready. But, as I said last episode, the special research for Meltan and Pokemon Go is complete, so I won't have to spend as much time preparing for that stuff to have our videos for Pokemon Go on the channel. So I should have a little bit more free time after my classes to finally get working on some more stuff on the channel. And I want to try to make sure to have stuff ready as soon as I can this week, because this weekend... Starting at Friday, 5 p.m. my time, which is when my class gets over, there's going to be the Community Day Weekend Spectacular, whatever you want to call it, where every past Community Day Pokemon in Pokemon Go is going to be out for, it's about like three days in the game. The Shinies are going to be available. On Saturday, we're going to have a special three-hour window where you get some bonuses for catching Pokemon and stuff. So I'm going to be busy this weekend adventuring and recording for Pokemon Go. So, anyways, stay tuned to the channel as we go throughout the week. Hopefully, we'll have stuff ready to roll before too long. But if you enjoyed today's episode of Pokemon White, first of all, thank you for watching it. And second of all, you can let me know with a like down below. You can also check out some more videos in the playlist that's linked in the description. You can also check out my Instagram, Twitter, and Discord that are in the description as well. And if you want to join the channel, or sorry, first of all, if you want to subscribe for some more regular Pokemon content, you're welcome to do so. And if you want to now join as a member, you can do that to help support the channel and get some member-specific perks from uh, start of November for being a member. November for being a member. I like that. Remember that. And if you don't see a join button on the page, if you go to gaming.youtube.com and check out one of my videos, you should see a nice little join button. Or there should be a join button right on my channel page, I believe, on gaming.youtube.com. So that is going to be that. I want to say once again, thank you for watching. Professor Chaz is signing off, and I'll catch you next time. Sounded like I wasn't done, didn't it? <laughs>